Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Transport Fever 2. This is the Stepford map. Now, uh, we uh, got a couple of um, factories connected up. Uh, what, what, what were they? Um, uh, yeah, I, for, I forget what they are. They're over here. Uh, these here uh, goods factories connected up, right? And... Uh, uh, with plastics and we got steel coming into this one from our previously connected uh, steel mill but this one doesn't have a source of steel yet so I thought let's uh, come down over here where we have a steel mill and we'll bring in the uh, bring in the some local um, uh, sources of uh, coal and iron and we'll make some steel here and then send this back up to that steel mill. Now, um, if you're wondering why we would come this far, well, uh, there's another steel mill here. And then the other one is, um, where is it? Over here. So, and we've got uh, a mach two machines factories over here. So, uh, it makes as much sense as anything and we already have a rail line that will let us get the steel up there so uh, that's what we're going to do so the first thing i'm going to do is connect up the steel mill to the main through line and that's going to uh, require a station now uh, i think i'm going to do something radical and uh, well maybe not no maybe i will use trains for this uh no that's a huge elevation change i think i'm going to use trucks for that that's going to be easier uh this one might work um well this one's so high up i think trucks are going to be the easiest way anyway we're going to need a train station here and it's going to have to get onto this line. Uh, maybe over here. Uh, so, the first thing we need to do is get a train station. Now, uh, we're going to need to bring coal in from up here. So, that's definitely going to be a train. So, we're going to need at least two platforms. Uh, a pickup and a drop-off. Uh, so, we'll grab two platforms. Uh, we won't have catenary because we're using diesel for freight. And if we uh, chuck this in say about here uh that should uh that should basically work uh so that's a danville steel mill got to get my cdo uh itch fixed there by fixing the capitalization yep okay um now we need to get up to here now the question is oh right let's um let's let the uh time move uh and the question is can i get it up there without too much difficulty so i'm going to need uh tracks right with no catenary now i can get Hmm. Yeah, see, that's what I thought. We can't actually get up to that height. Or down to that height. Um, so, what I'm going to do also, I'm going to put a... Uh, hmm. Well. This is a little bit of a problem. Right. Okay. Now, uh, I need to I need to get to this level. So, uh, I might be able to do it under the tunnel, but I don't think that's the way to go. Um, okay. I'm going to put a uh, station on this here. Uh, coal mine uh buildings yes 
Uh, I'm going to put a single uh, track here. Where is the level of the mine? Uh, where is the level of the mine? Maybe I want to put it this side. Yeah, I think I want to put it this side. Um, okay, no, I don't. Okay, we'll put it over here. Come up. Can we get... Ah, we don't have uh, tendrils on that side. Right. So I do have to put it over here. Uh, right. Um, down. Okay. Well, we can stick it right here. Yep. So this is going to be the Danville Coal Mine. Now, the question is, can I get this onto here? Because I think we come up here and then uh, bail across, right? Yeah, I think we do. Yeah, we do. Uh, okay, so I need to get um, from the coal mine, I need to, to get up here. I only needed one track there. Uh, configure. Uh, get rid of that. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the question is uh, can I get from here to here? I can. So that will work. Okay. Uh, kill that. Uh, put a uh, passing track here. What? Yeah. Okay, now I need to get to that track. Uh, okay. Now we'll come over here. Whoops. We'll make that concrete. And we nicely get over the road, so we'll, we'll take that. Go. And we come around here. And up to there. Okay. Now. We need to put a uh, crossover thingy in here. And that's going to work a lot better if it's above ground. So we'll do this and this and this. Just like that, double slip that. Okay, so that gets us a possible uh, link out from the uh, steel uh, mill. Now, uh, I need also, whoops, one of these, a crossover on here. Now, uh, I should be able to have a crossover on the bridge. Yep, that looks okay. Uh, good, so we can uh, do this. Now the question is, can we get onto this um, uh, operation here? From here. Well, let's... Uh, bring this up now what's our uh, height difference here hmm well
Okay, we can get in over here if we come around like that. Um, okay, so I can adjust this uh, operation here to add another diverger. Okay, so if I take this out, um, I can back here take another diverging track off like this. Um, now, is this, okay, this has to go down, down. That's too far. Nope. That's about where it has to be, okay. Let me take that and that. Eh, tolerable. Not ideal, but tolerable. Okay. Um, and then we can go and put a signal back in here. Good. And we'll need one there. And these signals will cover everything. Okay. Now. We need to get back up to here with this. Yep. And this one needs to come around. Yep. We're, uh, we're good there. Around. And good. Okay, so that'll get uh, the steel mill uh, a path out and this uh, coal mine a path in and we need to get this coal mine onto the network and that's going to be uh, slightly problematic um, we probably need to come in over here um, Otherwise, we need to do a complete new uh, line. Um, okay. Well, uh, let's um, let's take a look at the contour line. So we're here. Yeah, that's quite an elevation change. Um, Hmm. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work particularly nicely. But if we could reuse this uh, line here, which is already passing, we can uh, we can definitely get a uh, train uh, through there. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put a station on here. Uh, right, okay. Uh, buildings station one track um, I'm gonna stick it over here and this is gonna be the Mayberry coal mine coal mine yeah okay uh, now question is uh, where can I get this t to connect tracks one of those. Now, if I come around over here, interesting. I can get onto that that line that way. Well, that might be the way to go. Okay. Well, we'll come in like this. And do the uh, the thing that I was 
doing before just to get a decent um, connection point under the tunnel. Uh, so we'll do this. Right, there's the connection point. So we'll do that. Okay. So we got a connection point. This isn't really ideal, but with the lay of the land, I don't think we have a particularly better option without going a long way out of our way. Okay, so we do this. And we do this. Um, right? Uh, connect up like this. Do this. Uh, do this. And uh, finish connecting that. Okay. So that's the coal mines that we want to connect uh, onto the rail network. Now, uh, I'm not sure... Uh, from this one, I think we can get a rail connection. So, uh, we'll grab a, uh, uh, a station uh, like, let's uh, get in here. Yeah, we'll uh, do that. Now, this is a Danville iron ore mine. Okay. Iron ore mine. Okay. Now, uh, let's see what we can do with tracks here. Um, now, can we even... Too much slope. Why? There. And a collision. Okay. Well, can we get over the... No, we can't get over. And we can't get under. Oh, we can. Uh, yeah, I don't think we can. Right. <clears throat> yeah, I wondered about that. Okay. Now, how far up are we? Okay, so if we go maximum up bubble, can we get across if we do that? Yeah, we can. Uh, ah. uh, take that. Okay, we can do that. That we can we can accept. Okay, we'll take that. Um. No, we won't. Uh, no. Yeah. Now. Uh, okay, now if we do this, I think we can do this level. Yeah. Okay, now, if we come up here, do we get to the, too much slope, okay. Okay, let's uh, redo this with maximum up bubble. Okay. Um, yeah, well, yeah, we'll take that bridge. Just for something different. Now, with maximum up bubble, do we, yeah, we get there with maximum up bubble. 
You know what? Let's have a steel... A steel viaduct thing going there. Okay, and then we just need to get a uh, second line up here. And here we're going to get a connection point. Yeah, we'll do this. And do this. And this. There we go. Uh, so that's an iron mine on the rail network. Now there's no way we're going to get a rail line up here without a massive helix. So I'm going to I'm going to bring the uh, iron down by road to here. So I'm going to need a uh, road station. Uh, it'll be a truck station with one platform. Uh, on that side, uh, we'll put it over here, yeah, and we'll need a, uh, um, I'm going to need a uh, building, uh, cargo building small put it at the end yep okay uh and go for a uh, truck platform uh we'll put it on the other side um down Um, okay. Okay. Do that. I'm going to have to take the smoothing gun to that, I think. Uh, either way. Now, we'll uh, grab uh, a country road, and we'll see if we can get up there. Yeah, see, even a road on maximum up bubble doesn't quite get there, right? Oh, it does. Just barely, I think. Yeah, there's no way uh, a train was going to do that. Uh, so, okay, you, just for fun, you can have a stone, no. Yeah, we'll have a stone arch bridge in there. Good. That's what we're going to do. Now, as I said, uh, we're going to take the uh, smoothing gun out to that. Uh, we're going to go maximum strength, maximum brush size, and smooth this out. Okay, I think that looks less bad. Okay, close that. Uh, okay, yeah, I think that definitely looks less bad. Uh, okay. So, that's, uh, that's what I'm, I'm going to do here. Uh, so, uh, I guess... Uh, oh, we'll uh, run the smoothing gun over here as well. Okay, that's enough of that. Uh, okay, now, uh, we need uh, roads, and we're going to need a depot. That's a building. Uh, can we, we get one in over here? Um, yeah, that's where we're going to have to get it in. Uh, okay. So, down. up 
yeah, we'll stick it in right there. Uh, you're going to grab the smoothing gun again, aren't you? Yeah, of course. Okay, that's uh, less bad. Okay. Well, this here is going to be Danville Iron Ore Mine number two. Right, Iron Ore Mine number two. And this is going to be Danville Iron Ore Mine. Iron Ore Mine. Yes, okay. Right. So, let's get this uh, by vehicle cargo. Uh, we're going to go for... We could go with this, which carries 25. Uh, or... We could go with this, which carries, carries 17. I think I'm going to go with that one. Okay. Well, I think we're going to need... Say 15 of them. Probably need less than that. Uh, okay, so we're going to go for a new line, which will go from here to here. Uh, okay, and this is going to be cargo truck. Danville Iron Mine 2 to Danville Iron Mine. Okay. Those will uh, tick along. Now, uh, where do I have a depot thingy along here? Um, it's all the way at the other end, isn't it? I think it is. Yeah, I think it's all the way up here. It is. You know what? I'm just going to launch the trains from there. Uh, okay. So we're going to start with an iron train here. Uh, so we're going to need basically three gondola trains. Bye. Uh, we're going to go diesel. Uh, we're going to go with our favorite SD-40 and cargo gondolas. Uh, gondola. Uh, that one is 18, weight 20, 18, weight 30. Yeah, we'll go with that one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, too long. We'll go with uh, seven of them. Uh, okay. Um, uh, we're going to get uh, three of those. And steel takes uh, flat cars, right? Um, no, I'm not going to use a Naffy's uh, state car. Yeah, steel needs a flat car. Uh, so that's 18 and 30, 18 and 15, but it's longer. Eh, it'll do. Okay, so we'll uh, get our uh, SD40 on that. And we'll go over here, uh, right. Uh, grab that one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's too many. We'll put seven on there. Good. Uh, we'll buy one of those. Uh, I'm going to use that as an easy way to find that uh, depot again. Okay. Uh, we're going to put a new line that goes from here to here. Uh, okay, and that's going to be Cargo Rail, Danville, Iron Mine to Danville, Steel Mill. Yes. And yes, I know I do need to put some uh, um, signals on there. It'll be fine. Uh, now we'll go over here and we'll uh, do this one. 
which will go from here to here. And that's going to be the uh, Argo Rail, Danville Coal Mine to Danville Iron Mine. Yep. And then we'll go over here, grab this one, new line, go from here to here. And this is going to be Cargo Rail, Mayberry, Coal Mine to Danville, Steel Mill. Right? And then this one is going to be the uh, big one, which goes from here all the way up to uh, wherever it is. Uh, turn this around so we can get our bearings. Uh, I think it's here. Is it? Um, turn that off. Yeah, it's there. Right. Uh, right, so this is cargo rail from Danville Steel Mill to Cityville Goods Factory. Good. Okay. Now, those will be launching. Now we're going to go over here and start flinging some signals in. Um, okay. Uh, so we definitely need a signal here. And we're definitely going to need... Uh, we need a crossover here. Uh, okay. Really? Okay, do that. Do that. Fling a signal. Okay. Now we're going to fling another one here. Another one here. And uh, for good measure, another one here. And I suppose maybe one here. Okay, because we're going to need two trains on this, I'm pretty sure. Maybe not. It's short. Um, now, we got a crossover on here already, so we'll fling a signal there. And do this. And do this. And maybe even this. And this. Why am I putting them that close here? Because we have several lines are going to be sharing that uh, track. Uh, that's why. Uh, we'll put uh, here, uh, here. Now we need one here. And we need one coming in this way. Here. And here. Yeah. Um, you know what? Uh, let's uh, do this too. Um, now, we should need fewer along here for sure. Might need two trains on this one. Not entirely sure. Uh, but, it's another long tunnel. Uh, which, when you have billions in cash, you can do. Okay, I think that gets all the signals, right? So if we come up here, um, have we launched all the trains? We have. Um, where is the... Uh, that's the steel uh, to the goods line. So let's... Um, Let's hop on board this one. 
and uh, you know just go for a ride. Um, that's all of the uh, plumbing in that I wanted to do this time around. So uh, that's uh, that's going to uh, uh, that's going to be pretty much it for the episode. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this uh, train ride run uh, up to the uh, goods factory or the steel mill, and then run it back to the goods factory. Just uh, so we can see uh, how the line works, right? Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to give a little bit of a uh, update on what I was doing off camera. Uh, I was trying to fix the traffic in that uh, dense corner there with the high population. And I did make some progress on improving traffic in some limited areas. I've added a couple of train lines over the place and so on, but those have been of limited success, let's just say. And uh, I think it's, uh, I, I think what I've determined is uh, if you have any heavy amount of private vehicle traffic, uh, the way the road traffic works makes it impossible to flow decently. What do I mean by that? Well, what I mean is I was observing the traffic flow uh, for uh, oh, quite a while, and I noticed uh, vehicles just stopping for no apparent reason. Like, they're not no obstruction. They're not changing lanes. They're not waiting for an intersection. Uh, they're not waiting for traffic lights. They're not waiting for pedestrians or anything. They just stop, and then they start going again. Uh, and that really, really slows traffic down when that happens. Uh, I also notice them ignoring traffic lights uh, in uh, heavy traffic. Uh, they enter bl uh, junctions when they can't get through. Uh, and uh, it's, uh, they also will change lanes at uh, the last possible moment, uh, but they'll sometimes do it at the first possible moment. Uh, so they'll change lanes right after an intersection. Uh, and then there's also issues where uh, you can't uh, specify turn lanes in uh, a way that would act where you know it would improve traffic flow. Uh, and uh, the uh, algorithm it uses to, to uh, sort traffic out at intersections when there's conflicting movements is bad. Uh, it may be accurate to, uh, I don't know, uh, Asia or something like that, uh, but it certainly doesn't uh, appear to be at all accurate to, uh, to the way things happen in North America, at least. Uh, in North America, at least, uh, left-turning traffic must yield to through traffic. Uh, and uh, by that I mean uh, traffic going straight on has to uh, has has the right of way, uh, and that means uh, that there what well, it will back up the left turning traffic. It will also mean that the uh, the through traffic doesn't get bottled up as bad, and when there's a traffic light and there's uh, you know heavy left turning traffic uh, the lights will be channelized and there will be often a dedicated left turn lane now if uh, if we could do that in the traffic in uh, transport fever 2 we could substantially improve uh, the throughput of some intersections uh, if we could dedicate a left turn lane and uh, uh, set up uh, traffic lights that are channelized so that they have a turn phase and a straight through phase. Uh, and that would, uh, that would definitely allow for a substantial uh, improvement in, uh, in throughput. Uh, there's a reason we channelize the uh, signals. Uh, it, it, uh, it actually uh, generally improves traffic throughput. Anyway, uh, you know, we don't have that. And if the uh, random stopping uh, could be fixed, uh, that 
would make a huge difference. Uh, random stopping is uh, probably the biggest cause of bottlenecks I found in, in, uh, on my roads uh, beyond the uh, behavior at intersections. Uh, I, I've seen, uh, seen in the middle of a long straight stretch in the middle of, of nowhere. I, well, that was uh, impressive, that animal. Uh, I have actually seen the, uh, the traffic just stopping and starting. And uh, the traffic slowing down really uh, increases the travel time and decreases the capacity of the road. Okay, we're on to our new, uh, new rail here. Um, Yeah, it looks like everything's going to uh, going to basically work. Uh, the uh, intersection there it was uh, not terrible. We have a train parked in there, and it turned around. Okay. Well, that was fun, coming in there to see a train parked there. And then uh, we're going to come around, we'll come out of the tunnel, and we'll be looking at the... Oh, look, there's a train going the other way. That'll be going for the uh, coal mine. And there's a train coming down from the iron mine. Okay, well, uh, we're not going to pick anything up here, by the look of it. No. And I think that's because we don't have any coal yet. But anyway, I'm going to uh, put the sign off here, and I'll let this run all the way up to the... Uh, to the goods factory at Cityville, and then uh, I'll uh, I'll end the uh, episode. But I'm going to uh, put the sign off here, so you know uh, there'll be no other talking after this unless the this route doesn't work. So uh, you know, stay healthy. Don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much. And uh, see you back next time.